So let's look at question number four. It's saying question four B. Are uh, supposed to be given, uh, given that set A, set A is equal to what? Eight, four, two, negative four. And B is equal to one, three, negative one, and six. So we have uh, two matrices. Am I saying set so matrices? Matrices, sorry. Okay? Uh, given that matrix A is equal to 8, 4, 2, negative 4, and matrix B is equal to 1, 3, negative uh, 1, and what? 6. Six. Then we are told to find, guys, pay attention, we are told to find uh, 1 over 2 matrix A plus matrix what? B. I want you guys to pay particular attention, right? Yes. So we have this one over two, it's called a scalar. It's called what? Scalar. So this one is called a scalar. A scalar is a number pre-multiplied by a given matrix. Okay? Yes. Then uh, these two are matrices. This one is a matrix. Even this one is a what? Matrix. It's a matrix. So a number pre-multiplied by a given matrix is called a scalar. Okay? Yes. So we have our uh, one over two, which is our scalar. Then we have got these two uh, matrices, and we are told we are supposed to wait, supposed to add. Are we together, guys? Yes. yes. So in this case, what we are going to do is step number one. These things are simple, guys. Right? Yes. We just first maintain your scale, which is uh, one over two. Okay. Then where there is a, you just put the entries of matrix A. Right? Yes. So the entries of matrix A are eight, four. 2 and negative 4. Are we together, guys? Yes. Then maintain a plus. Then where there is B, you put the entries of matrix behind. Yes. So the entries are 1, 3, negative 1, and positive 6. Are we together? Yes. Yes. So what we are going to do now is step number number 2. We are supposed to get rid of this scalar. Yes. Remember we said a scalar is a number pre-multiplied. Pre means before. Pre multiplied by given matrix. So for us to remove the scalar, we need to multiply. Do the actual multiplication, right? Yes. You multiply the scalar 1 over 2 by what is inside matrix what? A. Is it okay? Yes. So I'm saying you multiply 1 over 2 by each entry. 1 over 2 times 8. Is it okay? Yes. Then 1 over 2 times 4. Then 1 over 2 multiplied by <coughs> 1 over 2 multiplied by negative what? Four. Are we together? Yes. Very good. Okay? Then plus one, negative one, then three, then you have six. Is it okay? Yes. So here what you are going to do is, we can say, uh, what are we going to say? You can say, what on guys? Two into eight is what? Four. It's four. Is it okay? Yes. Then one times four, you get what? Four. You get four. How do you mean? Yes. Then uh, two into uh, four is what? Four. Two. Two times one, two. you get two. Then uh, two into two is what? One. Yeah. One times one, you yeah. get one. Is it fine? Yes. Then uh, two into uh, negative four, you get negative yeah. two. Yeah. One times negative two, yeah. negative two. Are we together? Yes. Then you maintain a plus, plus. Matrix B, the entries are 1, 3, negative 1. Then you have got 6. Are we together? Yes. So we've uh, got the little there. This scalar has been removed. Are we together? Yes. yes. So the next step is we're supposed to add the two matrices. Right? Yes. And we know when you're adding matrices, we add corresponding entries. We add what? Corresponding entries. Okay? When you're adding or subtracting matrices, we always add and subtract corresponding entries. So which ones are corresponding entries? So four and one. Is it fine? Yes. Two and three. One and negative one. Negative two and what? Six. And six. This is what we are going to add. Yes. Are we together? Yes. So we can say now, four, four plus one, okay? Four plus one. Then you have this two. Two plus three. Take note, guys. Okay? Then you have one. One, take note, plus negative one. Then we have 
negative 2 plus what? 6. Is it okay, guys? Okay? So we can proceed and say 1. So 4 plus 1. Then 1 take note is 1. Right? Positive times negative. Negative 1. 2 plus 3 this side. Negative 2 plus 6. Is it okay? Yes. Very good. Then you can now add and subtract one this side. Right? So you can say 4 plus 1. Get 5. 2 plus 3. You get 5. 1 minus 1. You get 0. Then negative 2 plus 6. You get positive 1. 4. This is our answer. Are we together? Yes. This is our answer. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. Right? Yes. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. matrix. Are we together, guys? Yes. So I'm not saying you're supposed to write this. Just write this as your answer, okay? Yes. So let's look at uh, which one? Question C of question number 4. Okay? Yes. Now it's a question on 6, people. A question on what? 6. Yes. It says, uh, given that the universal set is equal to negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. That is the universal set. It runs from a negative 1 up to positive 10. Are we together? Yes. Yes, you can come here and take your seats. Okay? Are we together, guys? Yes. So, we have negative 1 up to what? Yes. Up to positive what? Yes. Positive 10. Are we together, guys? Yes. yes. Then this is our universal set, meaning what is found in the entire Venn diagram. Okay? Yes. Then our uh, set P is 1, 2, 3, 5, 9. That's set P. Set Q is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. And set R is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. These are the entries of these sets. Are we together? Yes. Then question number one. Question number one, it's saying, uh, what is it saying? Illustrate this information in the Venn diagram. They want us to put this information in the what? Venn yeah. diagram. They want us to show it. Yes. That's the meaning of the word illustrate. You just show, you put this given information in the what? Venn diagram. Are we together, guys? Yes. So let's uh, now proceed. I don't know the space where I'm going to utilize this. Okay. I think I'll use which, which part of the board. Am I going to which part? This part. Okay? I wanted to use it for this other question, but we can even utilize this space, right? So, let's just first uh, look at uh, this part. Okay? This part is what? P intersection what? Q. P intersection Q means uh, common elements which are found in what? A P and Q. Maybe before that, okay, before that, let's do this. Let us first identify the common element which is found in the three sets, right? Yes. The common element which is found in set D, P, Q, and R. Which are element is that? Two. Two. two is found in the three sets, is it? Yes. Yes. We have two. We have two. We have two. So I said a way to put two in here. Yes. Okay? Then what else? Three. Even three. Yes. Is it okay? Yes. So three is found in set R, P, and what? Q. Is it Q? Yes. Yeah. So even three. That's all? Yes. Okay, very good. Then we're going to look at elements now, which are found in set P and set Q, which are not found in set R, apart from two and three. Oh, so man. we're talking about P and Q, right? Yes. P intersection Q. P and Q. We have one, okay? We have one. What else? Which are not found in R? Nine. What else? That's, That's all. okay? Yes. So only one. Be very, very careful. Is it okay? Yes. Then what about elements which are found in set R? P intersection R. P and R. Five. Not Q. Five. Okay? Five. Hey, hey, be serious. We are not here to break this. So P and what? P and R. P and what? R. P and R. P and R. It's what? Five. 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 Okay? So you put five V. Are we together? Yes. Then what about uh, Q and R? Q and let us what Q and R. Why is Q guys? Why is Q? Why is Q and what R? We have four. Is it fine? Yes. So you put four here. Is it okay? Yes. yes. Then we're going to identify sets, so elements which are found inside P only. Only in P. Only in P. They are not found in Q, 
They are not found in what? R. Only in P. Only in P. They are what? Nine. nine. Is it okay? Yes. So we put nine here. Is it fine, guys? Yes. Very good. Then uh, elements which are found only in set what? Set Q only. Six. Uh, six and what? Eight. So you put six here, then you put what? Eight. eight. Is it fine, guys? Yes. Very good. Then elements which are found in set are only, they are not found in P and Q. Yes. Only ten? Yes. Only ten? Yes. So you put ten here. Are we together? Yes. Then after doing that, okay? Look at those elements which are found in the universal set, but they are not found in P, Q, and R. Which elements are those? Zero. Okay, we have negative one. Negative one. Negative one, then we have what? Zero. We have what? Zero. Zero. Seven. 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 What else? Seven. That's all. Yes. Okay, let's try to verify. I yes. uh, ensure that all elements which are, the, which are in the universal are in this Venn diagram. Mine. Let's start with the smallest. Negative one, zero, where is one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're done, eh? Yes. So you get two marks for just illustrating this. Is it okay? Yes. Then let us look at the last question, which is Roman number two, this one. Roman number two is saying, uh, list the elements of P, Intersection Q complements union what? Ah. Ah. So remember what I said. When answering these questions, how many sets do we have with? We have two sets. Okay? P intersection Q complement is on its own line. Yes. Then R it is also on its own individual line. So consider these sets as what? Individual sets. So we have P, we are going to list this one. P intersection Q complement. Are we together, guys? Yes. So P intersection Q complement, it simply means what? Complement means what is not found, right? Yes. So P intersection Q, what is not found in P intersection Q? So we're going to cover where P intersection Q is. Right? Where is P intersection Q? Uh, this part, right? This part. This part. This is what I said, P intersection what? Q. Q. Is it okay? Yes. This is P intersection Q. So what is not found in this set are the complement, complements. So we have negative one. Is it okay? Negative one, zero. Uh, then you have what? What else? We have the smallest what? Four, very good. We have four, then we have five, then we have six. Then you have what? We have seven, what else? Eight, you mean eight? Yes. Okay. Eight, nine, then? Nine. Nine? nine. Ten. Ten, that's all? Yes. Okay. Are we together, guys? So these are the, comp these are the components of P intersection Q component. Are we together? These are the elements in short. Then, we are going to look at set what? Set R. Set what? R. So set R means what? Elements which are found in set what? R. This is set R, right? We have two. Three, four, five, and what? Then this is set what? Set R. Then you can now answer our question. Can you be quiet, guys, and pay attention? So the question is what? Uh, let me answer it from this side then. Okay? The question is saying, uh, list P intersection Q, uh, complement union what? Uh, is it okay, guys? So let's move on. Let's move on, guys. Let's move on. So, how many sets do we have here? There are two sets. Right? We have this set and this set. Right? Yes. In between the two sets, which is what we have? Union. Yes. So, we're supposed to combine what is in this set and what is in this set. Right? Yes. So, let's combine this and this. Okay? We're going to start with this one. Right? Negative one, then zero, followed by what? Uh, two. Is it okay? Yes. Three, then followed by four, four then five, five, then six, then you have seven, then eight, then nine, and what? Ten. This is our answer. This is our answer. 
So our answer it is just excluding one line. Excluding just what? Is it? Uh, no, just one line. Just one is not included. Die. So this is our what? This is our answer. Is it okay, guys? Uh, let's look at question number five now. A question on angles. Guys, let us proceed. You know, pay attention. So question five A. Question five what? A. It say in the diagram below, this is our diagram line, or in this triangle, in the triangle below, this is our triangle line. We are told FB from A to B. FB is equal to BC. BC is equal to what? AC. FB, FB is equal to what? AC. And AC is also equal to what? BC. So I mean all the three, all the three sides of this triangle are what? Equal. Are equal. And the triangle which has all the three sides equal is called what? An equilateral. Is it okay? Yes. So this triangle is called what? An equilateral triangle. Is it okay? Yes. Now, since this is an equilateral triangle, even uh, all the sides are equal. If all the three sides are equal, even the interior angles are also what? Equal. Yes. That's the meaning, guys. That's the meaning. So if this is uh, 4x, angle ABC is 4x. Angle ACB is also going to be what? 4x, 4x degrees. Even angle B, a, C is also what? 4X. 4X. Is it okay? Yes. How are we to get? Yes. So now, we are told to find the value of what? Yes. So we know that angle A, B, C plus angle A, C, B plus angle B, A, C is equal to angles formed in a triangle. What is the sum of the two angles? 180. Very good. 180 degrees.